An inner product allows us to compute distances, as we saw before, but also angles. In particular, we have the notion of orthogonality of two functions. Two functions are called orthogonal if their inner product equals zero. But this also means that we can use gram schmidt to obtain an orthogonal basis for, for example, P2. And that is what you will see in this video. We'll make an orthogonal basis for P2. So we'll start with our standard basis, 1 dt squared for P2. Uh, let's call them x1, x2, x3. And we will make an other basis, B prime, consisting of y1, y2, and y3, which is an orthogonal basis. So how are we going to do that? Well, we need an inner product, and for this example, we choose the inner product integral from 0 to 1 of f times g. So how did we start with Gram's meet? Well, you can always choose one factor as your starting factor. So we choose y1 to be just x1, just 1, the first one. And then we need to find our second factor, our y2. How can we do that? Well, you remember the general formula uh, of gram schmidt y2 equals x2 minus the projection of x2 on the previous factors. Well, previous factors only one, so that gives us only one projection. So we have to compute x2 minus the projection of x2 on y1. And for that we need inner product x2 y1 and y1 y1. Well, we can compute those in a product of x2 with y1, x2 equals 2 and y1 equals 1, so 1 times t, so that's over here, uh, integrate between 0 and 1, 1 half t squared, between the boundaries yields 1 half, and we also need in a product y1 y1, or y1 was 1, so we need the inner product of 1 times 1, over here, so integrate 1 from 0 to 1, yields t between the boundaries yields a 1. And then we can compute our y2, uh, just plug in the numbers in the formula over here. So you have your x2, which is t, minus uh, x2 y1 over y1 y1, minus 1 half over 1, so 1 half times y1, which is 1, so we get t minus 1 half. And there we have our y2. If you're doing scrum suite, by the way, always check after your computation whether you really have an orthogonal basis. So just compute to check a y1 in a product y2, just to check whether this is indeed correct. Because if we go on to find y3, we need the y2 which we found in the previous step, just as with the gram schmidt process in the, uh, with factors in the Rn. Because how do we find our y3? Well, y3 equals x3 minus the projection of x3 on our previous factor. So minus the projection of x3 on y1 and y2. So we need quite some inner products here x3, y1, 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 oh, we already had that one in the previous step. Uh, we need x3, y3, uh, uh, y2, sorry, and y2, y2. So we need four inner products, we had already one, so three left. Let's start with x3 inner product y1. That one is nice because y1 is just one, so x3 inner product y1 equals t squared times one and then integrate. So we have the integral of t squared dt between 0 and 1, 1 third t, t cubed yields a 1 third. Then, the to which becomes slightly more nasty, inner product of x3 uh, y2. Well, how do we get that? Our x3 equals t squared, and our y2, remember, take the new one, so take the y2 times t minus 1 half. Work out the brackets, you get the t cubed minus 1 half t squared, Integrate uh, 1 fourth t to the power 4 between 0 and 1 you yields a 1 over 4 minus 1 6 t to the power 3 yields a minus 1 6. So 1 over 4 minus 1 over 6, 3 over 12 minus 2 over 12 equals 1 over 12. Then the last inner product we need is y2 inner product, y2, so the new y2, so that equals t minus 1 half times t minus 1 half squared. Um, Work out, for example, the brackets. So t squared minus double product minus t plus one quarter. And integrate t squared yields to one over three, the minus t uh, minus one over half, and the one over four yields to one over four. And add everything up. Uh, we get um, uh, uh, 
4 over 12 minus 6 over 12 plus 3 over 12, and again, accidentally, same, a 1 over 12. And then we plug in all these numbers. So what do we get? Our y3 equals x3, so that equals t squared, minus uh, this term over here, so uh, 1 over 3 over 1 times 1, plus this term over here, both of these inner products were 1 over 12 times y2, so t minus 1 half. So what do we get? Uh, the t squared uh, minus 1 over 3 times 1, so minus 1 over 3, and then 1 over 12 over 1 over 12 is just 1, so minus t minus minus half, so plus 1 half. And we finally end up with t squared minus t plus 1 over 6 as our third basis factor. And there we have our orthogonal basis for P2, consisting of 1, t minus 1 half, and t squared minus t plus 1 over 6. Remember, orthogonal with respect to the inner product we defined over here. So as you see, you can apply gram schmidt just in the same way as you did uh, with normal factors in Rn, because we have an inner product now.